one of the things that's pretty common to want to do in Messiah is to delete a range of motion on multiple objects in the item list and not just a, a single object's motion curve. The way you can do that is to make sure that the items that you want to, to clip the animation from, remove the animation from, are in a group. In my character here, the group is called DV Controls. To create a new group, all you have to do is select a range of um, objects in the item list that you want in the new group, right click and pick new group and then go ahead and name it. I've already named the um, items, named a new group that all of the items that I want to clip out are in that group. So now what you do is you want to make sure that you want to keep that very first keyframe so making sure that my group is the DV controls group I hit on frame 0 I hit enter on my keyboard and then click OK and now I've made sure that everything in within that group has a keyframe so now on my in marker here I'm going to move that over to 1 so now it's on keyframe 1 and you can see 1 written down there and I'm going to go into the Compose tab. On Tracks, I'm going to want to make sure that DV Controls is the one that I am going to want to clip from. And this is your whatever group that you want to clip the animation from out of. And I'm going to want to make sure that it's the current group, all channels, animation, range, and that we're going to clip out the motion of, of the local keyframes. Um, you don't want to use pose. All keys would remove the very first frame. And the uh, selected items, uh, I've never really found that to be as predictable as groups. Um, sometimes you end up ripping out uh, things outside of what you wanted to control. And so now that you have the parameters set up, you can just hit cut. And what that does is it creates a new track and a new clip in the DV controls group neither of which you want. You want to just remove those. So just go ahead and hit minus key on the new clip that was created in the Clips tab. And then in Tracks you can do the same thing to the new track that was created. And back in Animate you'll see that the motion has been completely removed. You will notice however that there are keys there. These are the dreaded inactive keys and to get rid of them you just select all the items in your item list and then switch to your dope editor and you can see them there and just right click down here to delete them you can scroll down to find the others inactive keys you can you can also just ignore them but they look messy up there so we'll just delete those. And I'm sure that someone will correct me and tell me a better way to do this. And if they do, I'll redo this video. <laughs> so there we go. All the inactive keys are also now all gone. And we have a first keyframe set and all the other keys have been removed from this animation. So that is how you remove a group a block of keyframes from your scene.